Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome to another Trespasser custom map. Today we're actually looking at an older map, a map called The Jungle by Tomy, which I guess never went past a beta release because that's still how it's listed on the site despite being years old. But as you can see here, we are running in CE, but not a CE dependent map, which is why there's just the default main menu. So to get into a custom map that isn't, CE dependent, we just do the level select cheat, which is Control shift q w And you can see all the maps I currently have installed right now for looking at in the future. So if you recognize some of these, you'll know what to expect. And we are looking for JR, because this map replaces the jungle road map, which is why I have JR backup. So apparently this level has some pretty good level design, which is uh, why I want to check it out here. Now... In my quick, like, early tests, just to make sure maps were working with CE, I tried walking this way, and it turns out there is an invisible wall that is only one directional, meaning it prevents you from coming back into the map from the outside, but not from walking out there. So we're gonna turn around and go the actual way you're supposed to go. So yeah, definitely a very classic kind of Trespasser look to this, no fancy upgraded textures or anything. Now he actually put the credits on there the jungle. Interesting that he went, though, with sprite water instead of any regular water underneath the sprites. Because usually you would put this on top of, you know, water to show that it's moving, but I guess this is a very shallow creek. Alright, dinosaur spotted. I feel like I need a time to first dinosaur, like, timer for these maps. You know, kind of like uh, the old time to first crate measurement for video games. I'll definitely get out of here. Ooh, there we go. Popped into existence. I still don't know the actual, like, draw distance and culling settings, how those work in the Trespasser INI, so I don't know how to turn up things like that so that dinosaurs, you know, kind of spawn in sooner. Very inactive, though, even though he's clearly fine. It's got a little bit of a boundary around him, though. I can't really get a pet in there. Though I can get a slap. Ugh. Got it. There we go. They've got such an offended face by default. Okay, so, let's see, it looks like we can go that way, I think I see, can't tell if that's like rubble, oh no, it's bones, because I can see <laughs> vertebrae there, but we can also go this way, which seems to be where the stream is leading. A tree has a really big bounding box around it. Alright, the stream bed seems to have dried up here, which is odd, because you can see a waterfall over there. Which you would kind of think is where the water is coming from. But, let's see, this seems like a dead end up ahead. I really have to find out if you can disable the jump sound universally. Because I think, to an extent, the sounds are map dependent. Like, for example, some of the maps don't have a jump sound. And some do even though I think they're all using the same sound TPAs. Okay. At our den end here, all we have is a lone Triceratops. Also very st st Ow. I took damage there, but also shoved it. Well, let's stay away from the horns. Yep, this seems to be just a den end and waterfall. All right, let's go back to the bones. So no threats yet, aside from pricking myself on a Triceratops, but not every map has to be combat heavy. We've got enough of those coming up. It does seem to be a fairly accurate label for the map, though. I mean, this is... Seems like a lot more jungle trees than you get in a Trespasser map, even the you know, ostensibly named Jungle Road. 
Trespasser doesn't really have a lot of dense foliage for the obvious reason that the game engine will melt down if you do that, usually. Alright, so we got some kind of graveyard here. kind of wonder what these bones are supposed to belong to. Like, are these all Brachiosaur bones? Because there doesn't really seem to be any other dinosaurs large enough in this setting to leave bones like this. But then you have carnivore skulls mixed in with them. So, I don't know. I don't think there's really any Brachiosaur skulls, though, in Trespasser by default. I think there's only Triceratops skulls? Got another very stationary Stegosaur here. <laughs> Just kind of judgingly- oh, okay, well, you don't want to do that with your neck. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable. Also, maybe an odd place for you to be hanging out here in this graveyard. Seems like a T-Rex hunting ground or something. Well, I guess we'll just continue through the bones. It's just like a weird root. I was like, is is that part of the tree? I'm not sure what causes this particular thing. If this is just because the texture is spread across a larger piece of terrain. But you see this divide right here where it's slightly more clear on one side. I know Trespasser does have an old, old problem where the ground will randomly become blurry. But it's more of like a pop-in or reverse pop-in thing, where the texture will, like, pop out. And not just something like this. Alright, well... Still don't really have a way to go specifically. Seems like we could go now that way, or there's some more bones leading up that way. And I think that's a cliff over there. I'm going to Triceratops down here, but I think if I go down here, I'm not going to be able to get back up. So maybe let's go to the bone way first. Oh, oh, shit. I'm sliding. I mean, maybe following the bones is not the smartest idea, because it'll probably lead to whatever is causing them. Oh, yeah, see what I mean about texture pop out on the ground? I mean, usually it's not quite like that. The texture doesn't just disappear, but... I think that's a draw distance thing. And the fact that this map does not have any fog. One thing I don't know is if you can set, like, a universal fog for CE. Also, is this just a really big tooth? Whose tooth is this? Oh, well, there's a raptor up there. There's our first threat. Sadly, I don't think I can, uh hold this tooth in front of me and stab it into the dinosaur. Also, a tribe A, which you really don't see in custom maps. Then again, most custom maps don't use the default Trespasser skins anymore, because there's so many custom raptor skins that have been made by the Trespasser community. So, that is a sign that this is an earlier map. Well, we don't have a way to fight that, and we don't really need to fight that as far as I can tell. Okay, there's like a whole other valley over there, so maybe we should go the other way. I'm always trying to like make sure we see as much of the map as possible. Can we get up here? This looks like the top of that cliff. Oh, maybe not. It looks like there are structures over there, but I'm pretty sure that's just an unloaded texture that we're just seeing right through the world. So there's like a nice little waterfall over here as well. Someone seems to like waterfalls. Is 
Some little flower textures. I don't think I've seen those before. I can't remember if Default Trespasser had any, like, sprite plants in it. Because whenever I think of, like, the Default Trespasser maps, they always seem so barren in my memory now. Compared to a lot of these custom maps. And it's because, again, they wanted it to actually run. And I mean, if you've seen the AVGN Trespasser video, then you've seen how bad Trespasser runs on its originally intended hardware. You know, sub 20 frames. Even without all these enhancements now. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be up here because I am kind of hitting an invisible wall. But hey, at least we made it to the top of the cliff. Which, uh, yeah, I don't want to walk on that because I'll fall right through it. Okay, we can kind of slide down here, though, I think. There we go. See, the spherical legs are good for getting down a hill without dying, but not great for staying on a hill without falling off. Oh, okay, that was a rock. I was like, what is that popping under there? A little tooth? Well, we have some crates here. And we have a jeep over there. I didn't miss anything on the edge, did I? Oh no, thank god. What? Where? Where? Where's the phone? There's a raptor back here. And... Is this a, ch a stone block or like a charred wooden box? Okay, that raptor seems to be bothering the Triceratops. Yeah, I don't know what that phone thing was. Was I supposed to spot a phone? Did I somehow trigger it by dropping a rock? Did I step on a phone? Bit of a mystery. Well, this seems to be a way to go. Again, this is branching off in the complete, like, opposite direction of the other path we found. And we got another truck here. I guess I don't have to worry about it falling on me. I like these stairs that are just made out of these stone blocks. Okay, there's a raptor who's probably going to give me some trouble. And we have a rock. So, can we solve this problem with a rock? No. It's hard to tell, honestly, if you can damage enemies by throwing stuff, because sometimes it works, and you get like an explosion of blood out of their head, and sometimes it does nothing at all and it bounces off. Like that. I clearly damaged it there, but if I try to hit him with it, it won't do anything. It's like, it almost seems like some objects only have weight when you throw them, not when you're holding them. <laughs> I could probably, oh, I, I can trip him with it. I could probably kill him like this eventually, but I don't think it's worth the time it's going to take. It's probably going to take like 10 hits. Alright, let's just uh, kind of zigzag carry on. Actually, this seems to be a dead end. Alright, circle around the rock. He'll never figure it out. Actually, he wasn't even following us. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to keep up. So I'm kind of hoping that this map loops around back on itself so that I don't have to, like, backtrack all the way to the other path to see what it is. I'm not really sure what we're looking for here.
in terms of like our objective, but it seems like just kind of carry along and don't die horribly. Okay, this is a dead end with a raptor. And kind of looks like we're not supposed to go over there. I can, you know, see some more jungle. Well, we could probably get up here. Yep. Shimmy. Vibrate excessively to get up the gap. See, sometimes when you jump, it's faster, but then other times you jump and you fall backwards. I suppose the big brain method would be to jump backwards up the thing. Okay, we got up here. Yeah, it looks like there's more over there. And then kind of a big open jungle in this direction, so... This map is bigger than I expected. Then again, I do kind of forget about the original Trespasser maps having such a large maps. They're not as big as some of the JPDS maps, but compared to some of the custom maps, the original map were pretty big. Okay, yeah, this is the edge of the world. And yet, what's that out there? I wonder if that's just part of the original Jungle Road terrain. There's like an in-gen sign over there. Well, clearly that's not the way we want to go. But then why are there bones up here? The thing is, with Trespasser maps, it's not always easy to tell where the intended map ends. You know, some of the maps just have like an infinite plane for the rest of the texture. Some of them just drop you off the edge of the map when you get to the edge. But I take it we're not really supposed to be up here at all. Oh, there is actually an invisible wall up here? I, I guess that confirms we're not supposed to be up here. Meaning this was really just a dead end path. I guess not every path has to lead somewhere. Certainly not realistic if they always lead to the way you want to go. So I guess we'll just kind of shimmy you back over here to the other path we saw. The one that it seemed like I was actually supposed to get to. I mean, this seems like, you know, more normal to walk up. So we head back to where we saw that raptor. I mean, the fact that I can still see that hill over there makes me think I'm still not supposed to be up here. Oh, yeah, there's another invisible wall. They're really weirdly placed. All right, well, we've been denied this path. So we head back to the crates and then go... Well, not that way. I guess there really is only one path, and it's the one we were already starting to go down before we came over here. Weird that there's just two crates here, though. I always feel like when I see crates like that, there should be guns nearby. Okay, that looks like something up there, like a shack. I think that is the one that I just decried as being a invisible texture. Oh god, someone's gotta come get me. Is this where the phone is? Okay, there's definitely a raptor. Oh, that's the one down the hill that was attacking the Triceratops. Okay, got ourselves a browning. Out of the way, ribcage. One shot. Great. It's got one shot, and it's stuck in this tree. Relinquish one your grip shot. on this rifle. One shot. Yeah, I know, Anne. One shot. One shot left. One shot left. I guess she is a bit of a gun savant if she can determine the amount of rounds in a gun just by picking it up. I thought that was a pistol, but <laughs> it's just the boot. The ground was shaking, but that might also be the Triceratops. This is one thing I never understood. Why does this texture have Fragile on it for the shack? 
Because you've seen a bunch of shacks like this, even in the main game, that have just a big fragile <laughs> texture slapped on them. Not just some, like, huts here. But no sign of a phone, still. Alright. A lounging skeleton. And another gun there. Is it also going to have one shot? One shot left. Yep. One shot, one opportunity. Alright, well. One shot. Going on my back, I guess. One shot. One shot left. One shot left. Or not. One shot. Did I accidentally disable that? One shot. Okay, control E. Okay. One shot. One shot left. I don't know. It seems to be a little weird with guns when it comes to the extra slot. Because if you hit E, she'll still switch to the one on her back. Where is that raptor? It didn't kill the Triceratops? Or maybe it did. I can see it shoving it down there, but that was a Triceratops sound. Okay, well, I guess we'll go back to the bone path. Oh, actually, Triceratops killed the raptor, probably by stepping on it. I mean, that's a good classic trespasser puzzle. Do you want to, like, throw a rock at this thing until it falls down, or just shoot it? But that music cue definitely makes it seem like this is the way to go. This is the road to adventure. Alright. Another raptor. We do have one shot, one shot which is not going to be enough even on a tribe A. He says, not believing it'll actually kill it in one shot. I mean, my accuracy is not such that I would usually expect to actually hit something on the first shot. I'm certainly no, like, Anne Wick when I play this. Alright, this we might actually be able to kill a dinosaur with. Maybe. It has to have some kind of weight attached to it that it didn't in the normal game. Alright, Desert Eagle. You know, it's actually kind of odd how rarely you see the Desert Eagle in custom maps, considering it's like the main game of Trespasser. Main gun of Trespasser. But maybe that's why nobody wants to use it, is because you have to use so many of them. In the regular game, they're like... Let's give the other guns some airtime. Like, the revolver seems really popular in custom maps, the like, regular six-shot. Okay, you're a real big boy. Eight left. Big enough to make me drop my gun. Huh. Another jeep over here. See, anytime I see some kind of, like, human artifact in the map, I think that there's going to be guns around it. Because that seems to be most commonly where you can find them. Uh, this one doesn't seem to have anything. And even a good, like, shoulder check didn't make it fall down the hill. So yeah, it's not a superly overly complicated map or anything, but it definitely has a very filled out kind of feeling to the map itself. And again, I think that's largely in part to there being so many more trees than a regular <gasps> Trespasser map. <laughs> well, that was our first crash, but I didn't save, so I had to play through it again. Now, on the upside, when I came back here, I did actually go the wrong way at first, 
It looks like seven. And I found this shotgun that was sitting behind that first Jeep that we saw sitting on the stairs with the Raptor behind it. It was just on the ground, and I guess I missed it. So now we have this and the Eight shots. Desert Eagle. And let's try going this way again and seeing if it crashes. Though I do have a save now, so if it does, we can just reload from here. Gotta remember to quick save. And CE does have quick save enabled, but unlike ATX, it didn't actually have a you know quick save message, so I wasn't actually sure what the button was until I just went through the function keys. <laughs> it's F9. We got a floating tree up here, so. Don't know if that means we shouldn't be up here, if we were supposed to kind of go this way. I will say this map, it's a little hard to tell what the kind of intended path is versus the places you can go but probably shouldn't. Like, I feel like these gaps here are meant to be like, hey, you go this way and then you don't go backwards. And while... This map was probably fairly impressive when it first came out, especially because, again, the density of the trees. The maps that have come out since do kind of, I think, take away from the kind of spectacle a little bit. Four. Also, something I managed to do right before I started recording that I wish I had caught is throwing the Desert Eagle straight up in the air and then catching it. Which... Sounds really easy, but it's actually really hard to do. Three, two. That's too high. One. Because it tends to just go over your head like that. Looks like seven. She like throws it and it falls backwards. Yes. Alright, this is the shotgun that's hard to use in close range because it's too long. So this does kind of feel like the right way to go, because it is kind of a valley leading us forward. I think we can probably ignore this raptor. You know, something I actually don't remember is if the spikes have a damage strip on them or not. I don't think they do by default. Doesn't seem like it, which is weird because with the way that damage works in Trespasser, that would be pretty easy to do. Just apply it so it does damage when you touch it. However, I know the Triceratops does have one on its, like, horn. Although I guess that could be the mouth, too. They are close enough together that you wouldn't be able to tell. Six rounds. Speaking of custom maps having the revolver... Remember that chair? The chair that is... partially composed of separate pieces, but not the front two legs? Also kind of a weird place to just have a cabinet. Like usually those are up against a wall or something, but this one's just sitting out here. Okay, this looks like the wrong way to go. Also something I noticed when I was off camera is that Anne's jump sound doesn't play when there's music playing, weirdly. Having played Dusk recently all the way through, I also do have even more of an inclination to bunny hop everywhere. Because that is one of the games where they brought back the old school feature of you actually gain speed as bunny hopping. Whereas here, you kind of do, but that's only because your legs aren't getting any friction from the ground. Oh. Man, the, the hitbox on this Six tree rounds. is so big. I wonder if it's because it's scaled up from its normal size? I don't remember specifically a tree of that shape from OG Trespasser, but I certainly cannot name every tree model or describe every tree model from Trespasser. I think that would be more something the modders would know. Well, the map is delivering on the jungle, but I kind of wish there was a little bit more structures mixed in. I think there's a wall up ahead, though. I wonder if that's just the end of the map. That's 
it. Just trying to show off my CQC on that Raptor Left. with a pistol. CQC. Now, this is definitely a wall, so I wonder if I pass through this, it's just gonna be like, yep, that's the end of the map. We did get that message to find some shelter. This raptor also wants to pass through. He wants to get out to the deep blue sea. Oh wait, wrong, wrong movie. Either that or he's just like, you know, nervous doing the foot tap thing. Okay, when, when I do this from behind the bush, it feels a little voyeuristic. <laughs> Eight shots. Well, this can't be the end of the level if they're giving us a Desert Eagle, right? Okay. The dreaded crossbar puzzle. Can I tug it out? Okay, well, that, that was a lot easier <laughs> than I expected. Oh, no, it fell on my Desert Eagle. Son of a bitch. Come on, get your noodle under there. I know you can reach it. Oh, no, the raptor. The raptor has come for its freedom, and I'm stuck between the doors. Surprised I didn't die there from being crushed. Man, this raptor is also having a bad time here. Only two left. <laughs> See, this is exactly why I can't shoot them before. Oh. Okay. Apparently you can also impale them. I think it's actually a case where... The reason throwing things at them does damage... ...is because if anything clips through their model of their head like that, it will do damage. That's what I'm just guessing, for why the shotgun just, like, impaled his head. Okay, seems to have wandered off. Ugh, now the stupid thing is even farther under the- I don't think we're getting this Desert Eagle back. I think it's lost to physics. Not like we really need it. Okay, the level didn't end. That's good. Going to, uh, quick save. And then I'm going to check to make sure that actually worked. Yep, that looks like a jungle. <laughs> don't know if it's the exact same one. Alright, well, if there's a wall here, that means there should be probably some structures ahead, right? Because why else would there be a wall in the jungle, aside from as a level divider? Or <laughs> to keep dinosaurs out, which clearly it's not keeping dinosaurs out. Okay. See, I anytime I see boxes like this, I'm just like, hmm, weapon? Hmm? Sometimes a box is just a box. Truly majestic. I wonder, could you kind of, like, convert one of these into a Mementisaurus by just kind of straightening out the neck? I'm sure that would be all kinds of broken with Trespasser, because the neck would just get caught on trees and stuff, but... Just as a, a thought experiment. Well, let's kind of wobble our way away from them. So I guess this level just kind of keeps going. I don't know, it's a little hard to find stuff to talk about in these levels because... Again, by comparison, the newer levels are pretty advanced in terms of the stuff they have in them. There's a lot of, like, can we do it in Trespasser? Uh, we'll find out, won't we? Is this... It seems like we just kind of run into a dead end. I don't actually know if this level has an end trigger, is the thing. Or if it's just a explore until you've seen everything kind of map. Well, I imagine if I peek over here, it's just going to be like a drop of just undecorated terrain. Okay, I was correct. So I wonder then if that Desert Eagle was only there to potentially, you know, kind of brute force that crossbar. But this feels like the level was supposed to continue into here, because, again, I mentioned at the start that this one was, I think, a beta still. 
It never got a full 100% finished release. So this may have been kind of where more stuff was going to be. But I almost feel like if you just put an end trigger on that gate... Oh, there's a shack over there. I didn't see that. That maybe that would have been enough. Or maybe if we go to that shack, the level will end because we found the shelter we were looking for. Huh? There's an idea. Which means these boxes are actually there to be stacked and climbed over. Huh? Huh? Things are coming together. It's a good thing I went up that hill so that I could see that. Otherwise, I would have just ended the video prematurely. Kind of like with the mountain road level, which I'm still going to go back to. Like, a long time ago, after I did that level, I ended up asking the guy who made it for, like, a little walkthrough. And I still have that written down here in my, my LP notes notebook. Well, LP notes and recipes. They were both mixed into there. <laughs> this seems like a lot of climbing to do for this many boxes, though. Especially if they won't unfuse with the wall. All right. Been a while since I've had to stack trespasser crates. I mean, that shelter actually doesn't look much better than the ones we found on the top of the hill. <laughs> I guess, what was the worst time I had to stack crates in Trespasser? Was it the Lost Desert map where I tried to get into the bar and I ended up making this massive pile of crates only for it to turn out to not be anything? Okay, we got two more. So if I can get this one on top of that one, we should be able to get over by just jumping at it aggressively before it collapses. Okay. I was about to say, I wish you could look down without moving your arm, but you can. I'm just so used to holding left click all the time in this game to move your arm. Alright, quickly jump over. I... Kind of feels like there's an invisible wall there. What if we just, you know, cheese it instead? What if? <laughs> ah, the simple solutions. <laughs> Alright, well. Is this going to be our shelter? Doesn't even have a roof. Does have a window, though, that's closed. There you go. And do you feel safe now? That was the end. That actually was the correct solution. We found shelter, just like it told us. And then it put us into industrial jungle? Because, like I said, that was the replacement map for Jungle Road. About 20. So, yeah, I think we're in an industrial jungle now. All right. I stumbled out of the helicopter already beginning to sweat. Quiet, Hammond. I'm trying to end the video. Christ. The wet leaves. Alright, so yeah, that was The Jungle by Tomy. And it was a neat little map, a little basic, but again, very dense foliage. So, next time we'll probably look at something a little more recent. But until then, I've been Trespasser... I've been Shadefire. And this has been Trespasser Customs. Hope you'll join me for some more, folks. Take care.